we have been here for many years, somebody's staying it's about 30 years. Uh, this is the occasion, this is the largest uh, trade show in the world. And also this is the, uh, the only occasion you can see your customers face to face in one place. And especially we're here also to prepare for our celebration for our 40th anniversary next year. So you said this morning was your speed networking hour and it went very well. So what sort of things were you talking about during the speed networking? Um, we hear one primary purpose of being here is to promote our members. We have 860 hotels that we represent on the GDS and we do sales and marketing for them. So this morning's that hour was very important for us so we can put our hotel's name forward. I gave all the uh, people I met a list of our hotels so they can choose the destination they want, they can then contact us so we can help to promote the, the, the destination and the hotels in particular to the buyers. Um, what do you hope to achieve overall from WTM 2013? Um, we would like to obviously promote our hotel members to the trade because this is the only occasion to set that we can meet people face to face. But also we would like to showcase that uh, what we have in mind, what's the growth, what is our plan in the future. Okay, we are celebrating our 40th anniversary next year, but also we, we, are, we are very pleased to announce that we are helping a lot of new hotels that we have uh, signed up with, for example, in uh, energy and oil rich countries like Africa for example. One of our new uh, hotel uh, members is John Esco Magalis Hotel and they are investing a lot of money, about 350 million euros in developing about uh, 15 hotels in the next few years in various locations in Africa to capture the corporate market because we are here also to understand why, what the corporate market wants so we can match that with introducing the hotels in the right locations to help both sides. And there's also an initiative about visa applications for Chinese visitors and the hotel data on uh, Pegasus. Yes, um, I think it is a hot subject at the moment, China opening up in the last 20 years mm -hmm. and a lot of Ch uh, Chinese are wealthy. Mm -hmm. You've got an emerging middle class and people like that, they want to travel. And this is a golden opportunity for also hotels to introduce themselves to the Chinese market. Now, because of the language barrier, uh, at the moment, not a lot of hotels, okay, on the website, they might have Chinese website, but on the GDS side of it, they don't have any content. Recently, we have a link with the fifth uh, GDS of the world, it's a Chinese one, called Travel Sky. And so we are in the process of a project to uh, translate the content of hotels into Chinese so the travel agents served by Travel Sky can see the content in Chinese language so hopefully they will bring more bookings to our members' hotels. That's interesting. I was at the Industry Report press conference this morning. They talked about the potential of China and how it's still the leading emerging nation and the, the sheer population. So the, the numbers coming in and out, so it's, it's a very important yes. market. And, Exactly. There is a prediction that they will, uh, a Chinese outbound market will outgrow, even beat US. So that you, you can see the enormous potential there. And for hoteliers, we must be prepared for that market, not just to put ourselves in front of, of, of the audience there to capture it, but also think about how do we treat Chinese visitors when they come to my hotel, for example. Do I have something in my uh, breakfast? Just one or two items that, that fits their requirement. Or do I have also, a, a, say, a list, a very short list in Chinese, say, when we open, check in, check out time, when, where the facilities are. And also, Chinese like to eat Chinese food, I'm afraid. <laughs> so maybe the nearest Chinese restaurant from the hotel, give them directions in Chinese. Uh -huh. So it's just something that, you know, to make them as visitors feel easier and feel happier at home. Again, the, the industry report that was revealed this morning talks about quite a sense of optimism amongst the travel trades for 2014 obviously 2014 you're celebrating your 40th anniversary absolutely you know, with all your members that you're in contact with how does the sort of general feeling is there optimism amongst your members as well for 2014 uh, yes that definitely there is an optimism because it's, it's not uh, easy because the market has changed so much so up so many upheavals and, and, and whatever but we are here we're still promoting ourselves and also more importantly our, our members for 40 years, so it's a nice time to celebrate, especially in 2014.